All right, so today we're gonna do a little hard tackle what I have in my tackle box when I normally go fishing. So um, this isn't everything. I have more stuff over there that I can't fit on here. But um, so we're gonna start at the top and we're gonna go to the bottom. Up here we have frogs. For, this is actually the only frog I had a fish on. I don't know if you've seen that video. But I have a video. It's kind of all torn up. You can see all the bite marks and stuff. And then we have, that's my lunker hunt. That's the lunker hunt. I'll look up the names after this. And uh, this is a H2O Express Poppin' Frog. It's got a natural color. Unlike this one, which is kind of more of blue and black, like a nighttime frog. This is a Booyah. So I'm going to have a walk and find out what's in here somewhere. This is at the end of the soft plastic. Wait, no. It's so at the end of the hard plastics. And then. But this is just kind of like so I can know all the names. But I know this is a. Booyah! I can get the frogs in there. Actually, I do have a, one of those. I can skip this part to what, until you find it, so. Where are you? There it is. Alright. So, now. so it is a, actually, it's a KVD. You can see it right there. It's a KVD, or Strike King KVD, um, Strike King KVD Sexy Frog. And that's the type of frog. And then, let's see, we got this, which is a, I think it's on the next page. It's kind of a bullfrog, maybe, a darker bullfrog color. And it is a, I think it's a, um, oh, this is actually the Lunker Hunt one that I caught a fish on. It's just in a different color. But this one is a... I think it's a... If it said... Wait, would it have an LT? Oh, um, I think it's a live target. Yeah, it's a live target. Um, it's a live target hollow body frog. With, it's got this little trailer hook on the back for better hook sets. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a circle hook for some reason. I don't know why. Um, then, after those, we got a Lunker Hunt. It's got the LH on it. And it is a Lunker Hunt. It's got no, uh, the little like, tail things on the back, whatever. The little legs. It's got normal, natural legs. And it is, I think it's, they don't have this on here, but all I know it's a, Lunker hunt. Little mini frog. And then we got another. This is the Booyah. Uh, it is the Booyah uh, Pad Crasher. Um, pad Crasher frog. And these are like frog. I love fishing frogs. <coughs> oh, they're good for fishing on like lily pads and stuff. But. I really don't fish with them that much because we don't really have that in our pond. But this right here is a Lunker Hunt spider. It's like a phantom spider or something. It's got the LH on the bottom. And uh, it's got pretty cool action. But I don't know what's wrong with this one. I think I might have popped it on action. It sinks. So I really have not fished with that. Uh, after all the frogs, uh, we'll get into some more top water. Right here we got um, poppers and we got whopper floppers. First we'll go from here. This is a Rebel popper, popper, and um, I've definitely caught fish, or somebody has caught fish on either this one or this one, that's not the same. They're just kind of ones older, but we got those. And then, so those are the Rebel poppers, and then we go to this. This is more of an old, kind of old-fashioned, um, it's a hidden, wait, no. Yeah, a hidden. That's who makes hidden is a one who makes like the zero spooks and stuff. 
but it's like a more old fashioned shaped. It's got this big lip on the front and it's got an interesting color. But um, it's got, as you can see, it's got the gray salt water hooks on it. So um, that's probably some type of weird salt water popper. And then this, I don't know what it is. It's got like, if you guys know what brand this is, it's got that on the back and then it does the little flashy tail feather things. Then it says steelhead on the top, which I feel like, I don't know, it might be a, looks like it's got a KVD eyes, but I don't know what brand it is. It's got a good rattle. But uh, after that, we got another, actually, a mini rattle popper, a smaller, where you can fish that for like small. Actually, I caught, this is like the only bait I caught fish on in a rollette, so. Um, that's that, and then we got a KVD right here. It's actually uh, on this other page right here. The Strike King KVD Popping Perch, and it's like a gray. It pops actually really cool. It's like a really strong pop. Like it'll pop and like make a giant, a really big splash, and it sounds pretty awesome too. But it's ten ninety, it's ten sixty nine, and this is the it does not tell what color it is but it's some type of I think it's some type of shed or something well we got that and then last popper we have a uh, Yozuri 3db popper I've actually caught some fish on this three spotted bass on that just fishing early in the morning on like Greenland um, so moving on to the whopper poppers we got a couple river to sea poppers Whopper poppers, the original Whopper poppers. We got a bass colored, or I don't know what color. That's a um, black off. I think it's some type of bass color, so I'm the first stream. But we got that one. We got this one actually. I caught in one of my videos, I caught like a three pounder on that. And sadly, though, I had it stuck in like a bench with the holes in it, and one of the hooks broke off. So I found this one. So I, mean, I have also a video where I found that. So, I actually, I found that Whopper Flopper too, and I found this one too. Um, this is another um, River C, but someone tried to make the, make their own paint job on it. It was like a weird paint job, and then I tried to sand it off so I could get the color. It was a trout color, but then I, when I sanded it off, it kind of just sanded off the whole color of it. But this last one, same color as the big fat one. I also have caught like tons of fish on this one, and... Um, I love this one. This is just the original Whopper Plopper. Spins amazing. It makes a nice noise. Has, uh, does not, like the whole bait doesn't spin, so it doesn't create any line tangle or anything. Um, this is a Berkeley Spin Bomb. Um, it's got these two propellers on the back and the front that actually spin really well. I don't know if I fished this. I found it just sitting on the ground somewhere. Um, it was like buried and stuff, but it's got two nice little spinning things. It's got this, I love this little, I love the face with the little, this thing, the flashy thing on the back. Then we got uh, this one. It's a honey hole whopper whopper, but um, it's like $10 and it's got, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got obvious bite marks right there where um, I've had, I've had so many fish on with this. Um, but I've never caught a fish on it. I don't know if you, can you see that bite marks? Yeah. Um, but, um, I've lost so many fish on this. I've just, the one problem with this is it, um, like it'll spin normal, then it'll just like kind of this whole body right here will twist. Like it'll go like that, and then that'll just kind of mess the action up and get you a bunch of light line angles. And then that's it for the long cloppers. We got it down here. We got jointed baits, and then we got jerk baits, and then down there we got walking stuff. We'll start off with the jerk baits over here. I'll try to go through these faster. This is the Yozuri something. Yozuri. What is it? 3DB, the same as Popper. But it's got, I love it's got, like I said, it's got those little flashy things on the back, and I caught a nice spot on Greenwood with that. It's got the red eyes. It's got a pretty cool color. We got these on sale for like a dollar when they were normal. I was like, $10 for some reason. I don't know why they were on sale like that. I think it was whenever uh, 
Arcabella's was closing down and turning into a bathroom. But um, then we got this Rebel, what does that say? Rebel floater minnow? It says floater, I don't know what that means. But it's, it's a floating minnow and it kind of just like, I caught like blue eel on this for some reason. I don't know why. I thought I was getting bit like it was a while ago. I thought I was getting bit by like bass every cast because they would, they kept hitting it and I would never get a hook set. Then I caught one and it was like just a little bluegill. I caught bluegill on that. And then that's just, yeah, the rebel. And then this is the KVD. It's a KVD. I don't know what it's called, but ouch. It's a KVD something. And it's got, you can see the little rattles in it. It's got those three little rattles. And then it's got some nice like viral, whatever colors on the top and then it's got the KVD eyes on it. Then we got a Guggen Squad. I don't even know what their drift race are called, but it's got a bunch of rattles in it. If you can see those. It's got like let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's got eight little rattle things in it. It's got the Guggen Squad eyes as you can see that. It's got three hooks. Pretty small but I caught a uh, fish, I like a, there was like feeding on top of water and I just cast it in there and obviously jerk bait did a job. Um, then we got um, this, this is a bomber, a bomber, long A. And it's got these weird orange eyes. This is probably not gonna ever catch me anything, but uh, I mean, it's got sh sharp, decently sharp hooks. It's got a weird bill shape, which is, it's kind of like a, it kind of gets like really, Weird shape in the front. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of weird. And then we got this little tiny. I don't even know what brand that is, but a little tiny. A rapala apparently. A rapala tiny little minnow. It's got a weird color. But I don't know if you would count that a jerk bait, but it's really tiny. Um, then moving on to Georgia baits, we got this. This is actually a top water. It kind of just sits on top and it'll go like, it'll kind of go like that. And then you can just like, it'll walk like, it's pretty cool. And then I found this in our pond, it's a bomber, bomber, BJWM5. Um, it's got this little joint in the back and it probably sits kind of like that and it kind of hangs down like this. And then I think it's like you just jerk it and it kind of, this just kind of goes back and forth. But it's kind of big. I might take that striper fishing next time I go. Then we got this giant thing. I actually got this in a fishing care package. I mean, it's got crazy awesome action. Like, it looks real. I've fished this a couple times for stripers. Like, once or twice. But not very long for this tiring. You just got to cast it out and reel it in. Especially when we're trolling, you got to reel pretty fast. And then we, I actually have three of these. They're true sand, um, jointed, jointed shad, I think. This is more, it kind of looks like a creature. Um, but then I have like a more shad color, like a herring or whatever. Then we got the Seville. Uh, this has got a couple spotted bass. It's got these uh, sharp hooks on it. But it's got some nice joints. It's got some pretty cool action. You just kind of jerk it and it'll like kind of Side side. I actually found this one yesterday in a tree. It's got this nice, like, actually, I will probably post a video about where I found this in a tree. We get, had a video of that. And we found a couple of other cool stuff, actually. We also found this jitterbug. We'll get to that. Um, but yeah, we got this little jointed, uh, it kind of looks like a perch, perch colored or shad, a bull shad. I don't know. And I hope the carpet. But we got that, and then uh, now to our walking stuff. We got a couple sammies. This is actually the one I caught a fish on. It's got some bite marks on it right there. It's got some rattles in it. Um, it's like a green and gold color. Uh, that too, I caught fish on schooling fish, so it's a good schooling fish bait. And so is a whopper plopper and other top water stuff. And a popper. Uh, this I have actually only fished with once. 
and I got one bite on. But it's a, uh, it kind of, ow. Yeah. It's a different design than this salmon. As you can see, it's got a wider body and a shorter, like this is shorter and fatter. And this, and this sits like this. So that's how they sit. This will sit in the water kind of like that, like down. And then this will sit directly, almost straight down with the head just sticking out of the water where this is almost floating completely. So they're different designs. And then we got two colors in that design. We got a... Uh, bluegill shad color thing. And then we got this. It's like a blue back herring or something. It's got the shark trees under belly. So those are all the Sammies, the Lucky Craft Sammies. And then over here, I actually found this one at her pond. It's cheap and it's got a weird hole right there. I don't know why. It actually walks decently okay, but it's an XPS. It's made by uh, Bass Pro. It's like their brand. So we got that and then we got a Yo Zuri and a 3DB by, yeah, it's a, actually yeah, it almost looks exactly like this popper. It's got same colors and stuff, same little underbelly. So the bone color and it's got amazing walking action, just like side to side twitches. So we got that. And then last walking bait, we have a jitterbug. It's the bullfrog color, I think. I found this in the tree yesterday too. Uh, it's kind of dirty and it's got bad hooks, but you can't switch out these hooks. They don't have the little uh, thing that you need. It's a little twisted thing. So that's actually, that's all like the top water and weird stuff other than the jerk baits. But I'm about to put out the crank baits and we'll get through that. And see you guys. So now after you guys can clean it out and now we got this stuff back on here. Um, we got jigs. Spinner baits and buzz baits, chatter baits, weird stuff, and crank baits down. So we'll start up here. We got, um, we'll start with this little guy. We got a weird, it's like a football head thing. Um, it's got a natural claw in it. Well, it's not really claw. Some weird brownish green pumpkin color. It's got this football head. It's got a nice. Weed guard. Then we got this is probably my favorite jig I have. It's a um, uh, swim jig. Right, it's got this um, right now. It's got a storm. Um, I don't know what they're called, but it's some storm uh, trailer, and you just throw it in there and slow retrieve back, and it looks amazing. It's got this blue yellow color. It's got some nice colors on the bottom, and then. A, natural color on top. Then we got a black and blue. I found this thing. Um, it's kind of bad, but black and blue weird and this thing's all messed up. It's got this weird trailer, but it's kind of weird. Other than that, I have a couple more jigs that I don't use. I have one that I caught a fish on. I don't even know what it is right now. But I got this one. If you saw that video where I haven't caught any, I didn't catch any fish, but um, I, I got this one out of the tree and what's cool about it is this is the bait that I caught that seven pounder on and it's got this trout, it's the exact same chatter bait so I can uh, fish with this without, so I don't have to fish with this and worry about losing it and losing the bait I caught giant fish on. So it's like a, uh, another bluegill colored, it's just, I um, got these amazing chatter bait heads that just flash a lot. And then uh, we got, ouch, I don't know, that was still there, I don't know, uh, I skipped it really quick. We got um, this, it's like a, it's sort of, it's like a chatterbait, it's got this little blade, it doesn't have a skirt, you can just put like a minnow on it and it'll chatter and it'll swim really well. And actually this is what caught me a bunch of fish, it caught me like four or five, I just went out and caught like a bunch. But this is what I could actually, recently actually, this is what they were eating when I couldn't catch anything else on anything. Um, so it's like a little chatterbait jig head. Then we got up here, we got, this is like one of those Walmart $1 um, spinner baits. So what I did is I just bought one and I took off the skirt and I just kind of put it so it's like a little swim bait. Instead of the skirt, it just like, it just kind of swims and it's flashy. 
I can even cut off this wire and just get like a free swim bait hit. So we got that and then got this thing. I found this in a tree actually. It is a lunker lure buzz bait. Still got a sharp hook. Um but it's kind of interesting skirt. Like it's like it's like rubber bands. But um, it's got a weird head too. The head's like I don't know. It's just weird. But it spins like it's got a good spin. Alright, then we got, I have another, uh, if you saw that private pond with Brady, um, the first one, I caught a fish on a big spinner bait, a white, well, I don't know what that one is right now, I think it's my crappy taffy box, but this is my other striped king, or booyah, actually, spinner bait. I'm trying to catch something on this at our pond, if you saw my last video, so that's what I was fishing with mostly. Um, then we go down here, and we got this. You saw the roulette. Use that in the roulette. It was kind of really bad. Brady had that. And it's just like, it's like a, it's got these two little things that spin right here. I mean, it's got, it's got good action. It's just, you know, it's kind of weird. Like what type of fish feed that? Then it's got this weird paddle tail thing. It's got a nice skirt. And then we got the shirt snagger. Also known as a duck. But it's got these, like, it's like a whopper flopper. It's got these little paddle feet that'll just spin, like, kind of like a double whopper flopper action. What I don't like about it is that it really doesn't, the only thing it has is, like, it kind of blocks the fish's mouth right here. And this is the only hook it has on it right here. And it's kind of hard for hooks, it's, and it's all covered up by these feathers. It doesn't have, like, you can add, but it doesn't come, you can add a treble hook down here but it, it doesn't have as you see like this little I don't know what it's called but the little thing that you can put the hooks on so you'd have to get those too so I can't really add a I don't have this so I can't add a hook on so that's I got bit on this and obviously I missed the fish because it couldn't really get through these little feet um and then we have this thing is horrible um it also it actually if I had my frog I showed you that big brown bullfrog one. This is actually the trailer on it. I actually came from this, obviously, because it's like 0% chance you're gonna catch a fish on this, unless you're fishing at some crazy private pond. But um, it's got also these little paddle feet. It kinda looks like a duck's feet, like what? Um, and it's got the, like a frog, it's, ow, jeez, ow, stop. Uh, it's got really sharp hooks, and it's my lunker hook. And, um, and it's squishy, so it's good hooks. Ow, stop. It's got really sharp hooks, geez. And then, um, we got last, kind of weird stuff. We got this, like I was saying, a giant Zara spook. Um, it's like a bigger Sammy. It's got giant saltwater hooks on it for bigger fish, like stripers and stuff. I think my dad's got a bunch of spots on there. As you can see, he's all torn up. Spots and stripers. I don't know if you see that, but all that is all torn up. It's all from fish. Then we got down here crankbaits. We'll start off right here. We got a Berkeley Digger, product color. I'll go through these fast. Deep diving crankbait. Got the red eyes. It's at the bottom is where it says whether they are. Then next we got a Lucky Craft. I actually have a, as you can see, I had a giant fish on that, but it came off. There's giant bite marks. And then a, uh, it got cracked at the bottom and now it fills up with water. So it's hard to fish with now. Cause it just sinks. And it's heavy. So, um, it's got, it's the same color as that Lucky Crush, um, for Sammy. Then this is actually, if you hear that, it's got, it's a Livingstone lure and it has like a, um, a, it makes like sounds of what like bait fish would make. It's got an electric thing in it that's recorded. And then we got a Carl's Amazing Baits, um, deep diving, another crawdad crankbait. It's got the nice yellow and slowly gets up to it. Black and then um, we got a KVD um, square bill. And I had to put saltwater hooks on these because I didn't have any other hooks, but it's got silver hooks and then it's got a nice, uh, 
non-bendy bill. Then we got another KVD. It's got some nice rattle. It's got a weird shaped uh, bill, but I don't know what that is. It's got some pretty cool action now. It's got a nice little red on the stomach and then the yellow. That's like my favorite color for squirrels. And then we got a uh, deep diving. Don't, oh, this is a uh, mammal stuff. Something called a. Do you know what it Oh, what is it called? I don't know what it's called, but it's like um, you can get like it's like something and then two hundred, and that's like there's different stages of like what they're called. It's like two hundred, three hundred, one hundred, and I think this is just something two hundred. Then we got actually the exact same one. It's a, it's a little bit different, but I've actually I've caught a fish on that. Actually, it was I caught a white perch on that. And then I was just trolling. I was actually trolling for crappies and was catching a bunch of fish on crappies on shad wrap. But um, we got next. We got this. Um, it's like uh, one of the XPS Bass Pro Shops square rods, like the egg. And it does really shallow, and my friend's dad caught a fish on it at that private pond. Um, and then we got this, actually. What's funny about that is all we got back. Before, um, before I had that big chatterbait, or caught a 700, this is actually what I had my other record bass on, which is kind of weird because, uh, like, look at the color, right? I think pink and green like we'll eat that and then actually I was kind of real like I had and so I was actually it was in November of not this November or not last November but like a year and like two months ago I was just like I got I just got this in a mystery tackle and I was like why not just like have a little try and just like see what the action is and it said it was like twelve dollars and I was like and I just kept catching weed after weed weeds and, and then um I reeled it in, and then I just kind of hit something, and I was like, I thought I was in a giant pile of weeds, and I kind of just came up and jumped, and I had actually, and then I caught it, and then I was like, I was like, what? It was on my, like, third cast with this thing. Like, I don't know what the heck was wrong with that fish, but um, I didn't have anything to, like, show anybody with, because I was, like, really excited because it was on my biggest fish, and this was before I was making YouTube videos, so I didn't have my GoPro or anything. So, I was like, so our house is like, it's like a cul-de-sac, like there's a cul-de-sac and then there's like a quarter mile to our house. So, I was just, I picked it up and I had tanks at home, like a tank, like where I kept my pet fish. So, I grabbed it and I was like running home with it to show everybody. And I got home and uh, this is it. It's not giant, but I caught that thing on a, uh, right there, on a... On this thing so that and that caught me a giant four pounder but that was like the biggest thing I caught at that time my record before that was like two pounds so I was really like horrible at fishing but um that's a weird it's uh also a Carl's amazing bait square bill probably never fishing with that again um we got this actually. This is what I was talking about. My the KVD square wheels. That's my favorite color for KVD square wheels. Caught a bunch. Of, I actually caught a bluegill on this, but I caught a bunch of bass on that. Large my fan spots. And then we got this Vexen Fat Boy. Also came in spelled K J T. And it also came in uh, a uh, Mr. Tackle Box. And it's got kind of scratched up. I don't know. I lost it for like I found it like a week ago. I had lost it since then. And then after that, we got this. Um, two Berkeley right here. We got two of the Berkeley Square Bowls. They're 3.5s. If you can read that. This is a Square Bowl and this is a Pit Bowl. So a little bit different shape. Um, wait, that's going to look different. Ouch. Maybe one dives deeper. How do you drop? Stop dropping stuff on my shirt. Um, it's just square ball and pit ball. I don't know what the difference is, but uh, maybe it's the colors. Then we got this is like a bluegill color, and this is more of a shad color. I had two of these, but I had one in a tree like a thing a half ago. And then um, after that, 
I got this. This is like one of those weird, if y'all have ever heard of man's, like that weird thing that makes like those jelly worms, those like 20 foot long jelly worms. <laughs> but this is that brand. I don't even know where I got this thing from. It's horrible, but it's actually funny because my friend Brady, he actually caught a spot on this thing. It dives like two inches. <laughs> so it just like ran on top of the water and you can see the fish going to eat it. But like, <laughs> it's really weird. It's got these like orange stickers for eyes. That's really weird texture. But I don't know why that's Uh Then we got this thing. It's a lipless. I actually have two lip, but my other one's tied on the rod over there. But I got a white and black, like shad colored one. Or a herring, and then this is a little shad. And then we got down to our shad wraps. This is a Rapala shad wrap. It's got like a deep diving. And this and this. These are all shad wraps. That is a glass shad wrap. That's what I was catching a little crappy on. I think I caught three on that. And then um, I caught. Two bass on that. It's like a large round bass colored. It's got a weird bill, if you can see that. It's like a, it goes like a weird diagonal down and then just cuts it to the side. I don't know why, but um, it's surprisingly caught fish. Still dropping stuff. Oh, come on. I'm like rip up my carpet down there. Um, but yeah, it's like the vibrant uh, glass shatter glass shatter rip coat. Then we got this other Rapala. It's like more of a, well, it kind of be like a, it's like a shad shad color, like a weed. And then this thing is a piece of crap. It's like a pink and black. I don't even know what the heck it is. It's a Matsuzui. It's like tiny letters. America. Trump Sephora, boys. Um. But we got, uh, it's got like weird red eyes. And um, it's kind of like the least sharp hooks in the world in a red. Like what? And then we got this last thing. It is a cotton cordell. Cotton cordell deep diving shad and dragfish thing. What's so that like? Some serious rattles. Um, dives like. And then, uh, that. Let me wrap it up for this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.